Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here to do a flip through of uh, my black and white uh, altered file folder with journal, <laughs> something like that. Um, yeah, so you guys have seen most of the process for this one. I tried to pretty much go through the entire thing other than the sewing and the signatures, but I did link a video in um, my last video in the description box to me sewing signatures into a journal not much different than this one. So, um, yeah, I figured that was good. You guys didn't need to see it again and again and again. But anyway, um, so this is the front. You can see the ladies all dressed in white, and she's got black hair, and she's got a pretty black hat on up there. So um, I just added some layers of lace here. Um, this is one of those organza flowers. I think I showed you guys all that. But anyway, um, I did use this coloring page uh, postcard and then just glued some old book page on the back to write on that just slips in there it's pretty fat and full so there's not a whole lot else I didn't do a back pocket like I showed you guys yesterday because I just didn't I just liked the way this came out so it's all collaged and then this is our little um, envelope flip thingy that we made yesterday so it's got just a clear pocket here one of those plastic ones I just tied a piece of Baker's twine around it I didn't glue it because it's got um, images and things on the back as well so it just ties around there and then comes off this is a tag with the back to write on this is just a snippet of what was left of that black and white trim um, like scrap trim thing that we made and I collage there and there's that clear pocket and then this can be colored or left as is um, some writing space here and then it opens like this and I am such a ding dong you guys were probably just laughing your heads off at me because this was supposed to be glued right here so that you could write on this blank <laughs> area well, I, I glued it here so I added a piece of paper to write on right there so that's a nice little journaling spot and I mean underneath here it can be written on as well and then um, these scraps can be either used in the journal or you can write on them or whatever this is the journaling card in there and that was just on a um, not a three by five but whatever the bigger one is four by six or whatever um, card it's nice and thin so it fits in here really nicely so and then just the lady there and that all folds back up and I will tie the ribbon on it later but that is going to go in the pocket with the journal it out. and then here's our journal so I'm going to move that off to the side it measures and this was a file folder cover on this as well so I used two file folders to make this um, five and three quarters by just about eight and three quarters and I collaged all over it um, like Gail Agustinelli showed in that video that she did on the covers and I really like the way that came out. I did a very light matte, um, what is this stuff called? I don't know why I can't remember anything when I turn on the camera, matte medium on there just so that it would seal it nicely. And then there's no pockets on the inside, same as the last one you know on these parts one thing I liked this I didn't want to put anything over it and two um, it just adds to the bulk and this one's fat I mean it's pretty fat for this type of journal it has 20 pages so it's actually it's 20 whole sheets so 40 folded in half and then you know if you double it for the back side as well there's like 80 so we have our envelope that we made together here That looks like it came undone again. I will fix that before I ship it out. That um, tag's a little tight for that pocket, I guess. But I will fix this. That isn't the one that came, it was the other one that came undone last time. Yeah, so that's the first time this one's come undone. I'm gonna have to remember that when I do these envelopes, that that top, um, likes to split I mean it's because it's made with book page you know book page isn't always great but I'll definitely fix that 
And then this is Shabby Dabby Doo Dawes Grey Pavilion. This is Medieval Mirage Silhouette, and that's the same as, you know, this back here. And a lot of the papers I used in this because she has that lovely black and white. This is my cabinet cards um, digi that I just printed black and white. There's our little sticker there and some music paper. And then I added um, just a place to journal there on the back of that cabinet card. And this is my old paper number two digi, and it has this image in there, and I just printed it black and white instead of the more, you know, sepia tones that it was originally. This is Medieval Mirage, some lace, that's Medieval Mirage. This is my 18th century coloring book printed black and white instead of the sepia tones. And this is also my old paper two digi and Shabby Dabby Doodah, Gray Pavilion. This is out of that large stack of paper that I have from Joann's that has that script on it. This is from Medieval Mirage, the um, envelope itself. And then I just put one of my 18th century coloring book images in there that can either be colored or just, um, you know, written on the back or whatever, journaled on the back. That just tucks in there, and then there's this little card here, and we made that on the black and white challenge, which started this whole thing. <laughs> this is my Ada Digi printed black and white, and then that's just a journaling card I made, and this is a piece of that same uh, snippet, like scrap, um, I don't know what you call it, roll or whatever. And this is the one that we made together that goes around, it's really tight, that goes around the bottom of the page and comes, you know, so both sides have that. And that was one of those large um, index cards. And then we made the tags to go with it. Oop, this one, I like this one on this side and the other one on the other side. All right, and then this is out of that large paper stack. This is Medieval Mirage back here. And Medieval Mirage, this is my, um, I can't remember if that's, I think that's, that's either cabinet cards or one of the freebie pages printed in black and white. And then this card just goes in this big lace corner pocket. We talked about that the other day. I just take the piece of lace and stitch there down here and across here but first you have to um, pinch the edge and fold it like this to make your corner put a stitch through that so that it um, doesn't come you know undone at all and then stitch on there while you're stitching I mean once you get it stitched down like this it's gonna stay but uh, my Ada Digi Medieval Mirage Medieval Mirage Ada uh, this is my old paper the first old paper that I did printed black and white 18th century coloring book uh, shabby dabby doodah on both sides of that one medieval mirage and then this little tuck pocket there with the little girl and my 18th century coloring book that's from um, I think that's the old paper one as well yeah it is old paper number one printed black and white music paper Medieval Mirage, I love that. Um, my Ada, and the other side of the Medieval Mirage, and then, um, so that was the middle of the signature. I didn't tie anything in here, but you could. There's some extra string. I just tied it in a bow. And then, um, here's a little tag. This is another one of those that goes around the page this way instead of the bottom. And then there's a little tuck here, too, with a journaling card. And then the other side of that. And my old paper, printed black and white, 18th century coloring book. And some tags from Medieval Mirage. And this is Medieval Missives, and I believe it's number four. And then this was just a, a corner collage pocket that I made. And Medieval Mirage. And Shabby Dabby Doodahs, Gray Pavilion, 18th century coloring book. That's um, in my old paper number one. This is my Ada Digi printed black and white. 
Viva Mirage on both of those. Ada. Uh, this is cabinet cards. Some of these I left in the, um, just the normal tone that the actual paper is, so you can see it's a little more sepia than the ones that I printed black and white. I just kind of liked that because I did have some of the cream, you know, kind of colors, and so that's why I did that. Cabinet card, Medieval Mirage, and then this is a journaling card, all collaged pocket, and then this was uh, a piece of one of my collages that I cut into a tag. Medieval Mirage. Um, this is the lace paper from that large stack I got from Joann's. Medieval Mirage. This is my Ada digital download, printed black and white. Medieval Mirage. There's just a little corner tuck up there. And I was going to put a piece of fabric, you know, or something in there, lace. But um, it won't tuck up there with that, so that's why I just left it with the hole in it. And Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. This is that image from my old paper, too. And then 18th century coloring book, Medieval Mirage Silhouette. Medieval Mirage Silhouette, Silhouette. And then, oh, whoops, we have... Uh, these butterflies are from the large Joann stack music paper and a pocket here with a journaling card and this was that black and white um, collage that I did cut into a tag and then this nice little tag that was a index card as well that I just folded the bottom up this was that lovely pocket that I learned how to do from um, Tanya at Taddy Treasures she was making some of those and I, I stole her idea and used it here so go check out Tanya she has a lovely channel and does great work and I will leave a link to her below so there's all the little pockets and I just turned it into a flip you could glue it down entirely but I turned it into a flip so you can write here and write here and that's my cabinet cards printed black and white. Shabby Dabby Doo Da. Shabby Dabby Doo Da. That's a gray pavilion. Medieval Mirage Silhouette. Medieval Mirage Silhouette. I love this. It's gorgeous. And then all the collage there, and I did sign it here. So that is her, and I'm very excited with how that turned out. And I will be doing more of these, but first I am going to be doing a. Um, Oh my gosh, my brain just went blank. Shabby Chic Journal. And it's super cool because the lovely gentleman contacted me yesterday and he wants a journal made for his wife's wife and his 55th wedding anniversary. How cool is that? He's he's getting her a journal for their 55th wedding anniversary and she likes uh, Shabby Chic, Lace, Victorian. So right up my alley, the things that I love to create with. So... I'm excited to do that journal as well, and we'll go ahead and um, make some ephemera for that. And this will get listed for, um, this one's already sold, but I'll put it in my shop so that um, it can be purchased and go to its new home. So thank you guys for all your support on that. You've just been amazingly supportive with the black and white, and I'm glad that you liked it and that some of the things were helpful and inspired and stuff so yeah it's been a lot of fun making both of those journals were very fun to make I had that I have my camera hooked to a stack of books <laughs> ah, sorry to sit on my desk and so that piece of fabric got under that stack of books all right so what we're going to use for um, this next journal is a tailor-made it's a Taylor Made Crafts. Oh my gosh. It's Lorna. I know her name is Lorna. I'm just drawing a blank for some reason. Oh, Taylor Made Journals. We're using her um, Victorian Fussy Cut Digi. And I only printed just a couple of pages and started cutting some of the pieces out. And then I'm also using Artie Mays. And so for Artie Mays, I'm using her Not So Shabby Chic which is this, which will be a lot of the pages and things. 
and then I'm also using her shabby chic and I didn't I always forget that when it comes from um, the United Kingdom that the paper size is different I just forget I'm just a ding dong and so some of these I printed too small but then I remedied it when I printed out the not so shabby chic and I will link all the digis and things below so um, no worries there don't feel like you're not gonna be able to get it I just realized that's almost the size of the tag I cut <laughs> all right so um yeah so that's what I'm using because there's beautiful beautiful papers and all kinds of goodies to put in pockets and decorate and all of that so that is what we're using at the moment because this isn't all cut out I think I'm going to stick with uh, some of the actual pages and I have a few of those ladies come cut out and um, they said or he said that he didn't it didn't have to be wedding related or anniversary related journal but I think I'm going to do just one of this lovely bride on a tag just because that's it's just really fun that it's their 55th wedding anniversary so I'm going to include that so I think that's what we'll work on and I have um, a time card and I have one of these that I have made you know that go around the edge of the pocket and so um, your sister's on the treadmill downstairs if you're looking for oh <laughs> so um, I thought it would be kind of fun to glue this down I mean it, it'll get glued down to a page like this but to have this pocket and have it be able to flap like that and then I'm going to stitch a piece of fabric along the edge here so that this can flap open as well so I don't know just a little little thing I was playing with so I thought we could use some of these gorgeous papers from Artie Mays and then the Taylor Made Journals Beautiful Fussy Cuts. This one has lines, but that I could use that lady. Since I printed these too small, I probably won't use them. I mean, I may use a couple of them because I like to have some shorter pages in my journal too. But um, so maybe that's what I'll save that one for. But I won't use all of these just because of the whole size. Thing. I don't know how I forget that every time. It's like really, and I close the door to print them because my dingy Persian cat loves the printer. He um, sticks his paws inside of it while it's trying to print. So clearly, you can imagine that does not help my printer issues at all. <clears throat> so um, I close the door. So I was just printing away and not checking to see what size they were because I'm smart like that. And uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's fine because I can still use them all in collage and whatever. It's not a big deal. It's just dirt. And I did print on the parchment paper that I like to use. And these are awesome because they're all inked around. And I'm tearing that off because <laughs> I won't be using the whole page. So I want the inking to be even, if that makes any sense at all. So maybe a piece of this on here. And so this is kind of the direction I'm going, Janice, and Janice knows about the journal, so it's okay if we talk about it. Um, so let me know uh, if it's not what you were thinking or there's something that you're, you wanted more or whatever. Just let me know what you're thinking with that, and um, we can remedy it. Let's go to the back. That would be the smart way, right? So yeah, I just thought this is the sweetest thing in the world that her husband was doing for her. My husband and I, um, our anniversary, it'll be our 25th this year, so I'm excited about that too. That's kind of a, you know, a milestone. been together since we were 16 though which is crazy to think about now because you know my daughter's 18 my son's almost 16 it's like wow
It's really funny because you think about um, when you lived at home, it seemed like, well, it did to me, and anyway, maybe it doesn't to everybody, but it seemed like a lot of years, or like the time was slow or something, and I've lived out on my own with my husband longer than I lived at home, which is just, you know, it's just crazy when you start thinking about that because it seemed like that was a very long part of my life. I mean, it was a good part of my life. I had a wonderful dad, and so, you know, it, but it just seemed like when you're a kid, time goes slower or something. I don't know, but it's crazy how fast time goes now, it feels like. I'm going to have to trim that a little bit more. I didn't do a very stellar job. Oh, it's not too bad. It looked like it was really hanging off up there. So yeah, I hope you're all having a nice day. Sorry, I just jumped right into my showing the journal. I was excited and talking about the new journal and all of those things. So yeah, It's pretty nice here again today. We're having fabulous weather. I mean, my favorite kind where it's like, <clears throat> you know, the, the low 70s for the high and sun shining. We had a little wind yesterday, but nothing... Nothing major, so it was nice. I need some lace. Look around her. So yeah, I won't do a lot of these like wedding things or anything. I just thought it would be fun to have a tag or something that was Commemorating. <clears throat> and this doesn't really tear, but I kind of like the way it looks when it, um, if you can get a piece off <laughs> torn. It's got too much, uh, I think, polyester or something in it, and it just doesn't really hair but it just it's kind of I like the unevenness instead of when you cut it's so perfectly even you know what I mean so if we're gonna have it stitched with fabric on that side I probably should put this fabric on this side And I feel like it needs like some script or lettering or something like that. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> right on time, Theron. Yay. Yay. like got it on cue now. I can't remember who it was the other day said it wouldn't be a crafty cat video without the cat meowing and the sun sneezing. It's like yeah that's that's basically true. <laughs> and me doing something messed up too yesterday was a great day for that. Uh, I can't ever <laughs> make stuff. Although it did make me feel better, and I felt so bad for her. But Gail Agostinelli was is doing a cover, you know, making a journal for um, I can't remember what that's called, Blue Fern Studio, I think. And uh, she <laughs> accidentally glued some stuff upside down, and I've totally done that on camera and I yeah I totally have done that <laughs> and I felt so bad because it's that really beautiful nice paper <clears throat> so but yeah it's just like I don't know how we do these things so I wanted to show you too I also got a paper and I'm just looking on my computer screen here 
Okay, so I got this paper from Jo Beth Sexton, and I will um, leave her link below too, because this is really cool. This is her first digi. It's a, just a collage of like receipts and uh, prescriptions and all kinds of stuff, but great for making your own collages. And uh, it's called Cluttered Desk Collage. So it's just all these, you know, like old Sears and Roebuck type catalog pages. And here, these are prescriptions, and there's some old photos. There's more prescriptions and old photos and things. And these are like awards of honor. And these two pages look similar, but they're like different. Like this, this one isn't on this page. Yeah. So anyway, five pages. So those are super fun. So I might use a piece of one of those. <coughs> use the this certifies that little piece here so yeah that was her first digi that's super fun I love it very nice lady so let me see I kind of just want to I just think I want this part. Oh, that gets covered up, so maybe it needs to go the other direction. I'm not liking that on the corner of it for this. It's too much with all that, so maybe I'll just do this kind of thing. We're going to have that piece of fabric, and it's going to go something like this, though. See, these are all things we have to remember. I thought about putting it on first, but then I didn't think I would want to do that. have to put this down and then um, stitch it after. That's what I'll do. We'll just put it, tack it down with some glue at the moment. Okay, so how long do I need this? Are you doing homework, Theron? I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to use that at the moment. I might have to use it somewhere else. Just not liking the way it's coming out. I think it's the whole trying to see the words that's um, messing me up. I think I liked it better with that. Hmm. 
I mean, it doesn't have to come that far. Let me get this glued on first. Tags all curling up. Oh my goodness, those trucks. I'm not going to make it, I don't think, through this summer with that going on all summer long. I wish they were done building over here. They're just selling off all the farmland and building. I just don't understand how it's going to work. Like, <laughs> what are we going to eat, people? <laughs> Does anybody care? <sighs> Guess not. Okay, I'm going to put down. Where did I put the lace? Oh my goodness. It's right there. Jeez. I'm just going to put this down. We're just going to see what comes up. Instead of him hawing around about it. Stuff gets covered, it gets covered. I don't know why, but it is. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have the nice, you know, not inked or gluey pages back here while I'm making a mess. There's like fabric stuck on this and everything. Bad words. Okay, and then we need to do something on the back. I need to find the other pieces to this. Oh, they're right there. Amy, you guys are probably yelling at me. Ah, oh, they're right there. Okay, something that we can write on. So, this one has some lines, and it's very pretty. These are beautiful, Andrea. I don't know if she watches my channel, but, <laughs> but these are beautiful. You could definitely write on that. Maybe with a darker type pen, but I think it will definitely work. Let's try to get this as straight as possible, Amy. And we're going to basically do the same thing we did on the front. Even though it brings up those uh, edges a little, little bit, but it's fine. How to hold the ruler the right way. I'm doing it more along the edge of the tag than the ruler itself. Okay. 
some people ask me all the time if I use this other side of the ruler. I do sometimes, but the thing is it's so jagged that it's not something that I use a lot. I'm going to have to actually do that on both sides. There we go. That'll work out better. Yeah, it's a little bit small, but it's good. It's covering the words. Very shabby with the pink, very light pink polka dot paper or fabric, whatever. It's just right here. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I'll do the stitching afterwards. it now. It took me a minute to get figure it out, but I got it. And I'm going to lightly just kind of, just so it's not so, so white. All right, and then we'll tack this onto the back. Just talking this morning instead of tools. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. And I'm not doing it super duper tight because I, you know, I want it to um, be able to open and close and not, you know, have trouble closing completely. So I don't really need all of this flap on this, so I am gonna cut some of it off. And it's just one book page that I've folded the bottom up on. That's all this is. See, like my really nice cutting there. Really straight. <laughs> I can't I can't cut a straight line. And I'm just gonna glue that right down. On this side and I'm going to come up a little bit because it's you know it's not the same size so it doesn't matter and then I'm just going to glue and I'm probably should have done that first but I will probably stitch around here I can still do it because this isn't flat down on here so I'm going to glue in here for now though just to close our pocket and we'll have to do like a skinny little tag that's fine. I love Gail though, because even when she um, glued that upside down and stuff, she just laughed and which would be hard to do when you have that really nice paper. I mean, these we can like print again and do it again if we need to. It's not quite as like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. But she just laughed and kept going. She's just great. Sweetest lady on earth. Would do anything for anybody. See. No, we don't want to stick entirely down back there. Stop. Okay. So I'm just going to take like some pieces and put it on here because I actually like the background of this. Um, and we'll use one of our ladies. Maybe another piece of this. But I'm just going to tear it 
haphazardly. I don't want to cover, I like those numbers down there, so maybe I'll move this here. I love handwritten numbers for some reason. I think those are so cool. Okay, I'm looking for my ladies. So I put them here, but they're at the bottom. I think I might want one of the blue ones. I mean, I like the red. I just don't feel like it goes with this particular page at the moment. So I'm going to fussy cut. So fast forward if you don't like it. That's your cue. I like this lady right here. These are gorgeous, Lorna, if you um, happen to see this video. She really did a nice job of, you know, the color and everything is just really good. Oh my goodness. Portia. That's his nose. He does that when he's stuffed up. I know it sounds horrible, but he's a Persian, so his it's kind of like having a bulldog or a pug or something. They get kind of like stuffy and stuff. It seems we all have allergies going on around her. I put the hummingbird feeders out. I don't know why my brain went there, but anyway. Um, and I had a hummingbird the other morning, the first one of the season. I was super excited, and then I've been watching and haven't seen them again, and I have a hummingbird feeder that like hangs on my window in my room, and I heard it the other day after I took a shower. I think it fell. I didn't know that's what it was at the time, but I found it yesterday on the ground. And <clears throat> I'm wondering if a hummingbird was drinking out of it and it fell because it's just like suction cup to the window and it scared him away and now he doesn't want to come back, which makes me very sad because I didn't intend for that to happen. <laughs> They're my favorite, so yeah, but that, because normally once they start coming, I just have them all season. They're just, you know all the time here. Yeah, she's pretty. And then I'll make this a writing space as well. And we'll fi figure out our pocket and stuff there. I ended up covering that almost entirely, but uh, I'll play with that a little. You could definitely like make this a writing spot too. I mean, there's a million things that you could do with these, hooking them together. cut these out but they're so tiny I don't think it's that big of a deal if they stay what are we at time wise 44 seems like I'm always right around there when I check <laughs> I'm gonna kind of do it skew a little bit this way. Move it out a little bit then you'll be able to see a little bit more of the collage back there. That says home. That's kind of fun. 
These are from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Oh, there's a pink number, f that number five is kind of cool, and a two. Special, that's really cool. There's your flower. special maybe because this is a it's a special thing I do like the numbers too though hmm definitely like the rose there behind her this might be too big for this spot their 55th, right? One more something. Oh, I know. Oh, I always forget about washi. So, washi. Let's see. I have a little pink rose right there. Something, some of these are like you know, more of an Asian flair. This one's kind of cool, just flowers. If I can find in the beginning, these are from Denise at Wonderwork Crafts. Thank you so much, Denise. That one's good too. Oh, this has all kinds of old flowers on it. Sorry, I lied. I'm using a different one. I like this blue flower here, and then there's like a clock and a pink flower. I think we'll put these down first. I end up covering that 240. <laughs> Just needed a little, little something there. see it a little bit. Okay. And something to write on on the back of that other page. pretty papers. Not sure which is the top and the bottom. It's not really going to matter for our purposes at the moment, but This 
is just gonna be so pretty. I'm so excited. <laughs> Sometimes things just like really strike me more than others and I don't know why but well I love Victorian and you know well, this look basically it's my favorite to work with that's why the black and white was great too because I was using the black and white version of a lot of this look a little writing spot okay and then we just have to do our pocket here what are we at 51 Let's see if we can get that done out and um, put that side down like a dingling. And this side will get caught when it gets stitched so I'm not that worried about that side. Pieces, pieces everywhere. So we can get some of these roses down on that bottom part. Maybe just the bottom rose. And save the top one for something. needs to go. There we go. And then something fun down there along the bottom. We could use a piece of real lace. That would be a good thing to do. I love this really fine thin lace, but I can need a, a color still under there. And this pink. the number is what I want. So I'm going to take more off the bottom. Ah, that's driving me crazy, that truck. Just clearing the land over there and it's just obnoxiously loud. Okay, I'm just gonna trim the bottom of that. I know it doesn't matter if that's perfect or not because it's gonna get clipped probably.
oh, the things I do, right? All that to see that little <laughs> number right there. Uh, uh, and then there's some smaller fussy cut uh, pieces that I haven't uh, printed out yet, so I might wait. Because um, I might put something else on there too. And then the lace across the bottom. Okay, and just a little something else over there. roses. Well, that entirely covers that paper. I do like it. This is going to make everybody sad, but I can print it again. <laughs> Okay, so that will be like so. So let's get this inked. And I'm going to make a tag or use one of Artie Mays' beautiful tags. I just need to look here. I think I like it at the bottom. You can still see that number, but it's a little obscured. And I'm not going to be able to stitch this, so I think I'm going to have to use a little art glitter glue just right along here. Should have used even less. Got an old or a dry baby wipe here. Miracle workers, those things are. 
All right, so tag. Let's look at the beautiful ephemera. These are too big. <laughs> Lots of tickets. Tickets would be cool in there too. Oh, here's some little tags. And there's a little skinny one with the bird cage. Okay. I really like these, but I think they're too short. They're probably not too wide, but I'm thinking I'm going to have better luck with these skinny ones. I'll use that one because that'll go well. I mean, either one would go well. And then we can back that with some this will work well. I might put a piece of book page in the middle of all that just to um, thicken up my tag a bit. And I just roughly cut it because I'm not... You could print them out on thicker paper too. It's just I um, was printing all of it at once, so I just went ahead and did it on this paper. Because I never know if I'm going to use stuff for collaging or, you know, actually what they are, so. Do what makes you happy. And I'll stitch around this tag. Okay, very pretty. Go right in there. I love it, and I'll put some, stitch some lace. So I'm going to go stitch this. I'll be right back to show you, and then I'll let you go. Okay, I'm back. So I have stitched around the whole thing. I added a little piece of lace just for fun there. Place to write. The lovely lady, another place to write. And then our little tiny tag. And then that will get glued directly down to a page, and you could leave it. You could almost do it as a belly band. That would be kind of cool, too. And then put, like, an envelope or something behind it. I might do that. So that is our little piece and I want to thank you guys so much again for all your support. Um, it's just been great um, through all this fun stuff and I loved doing the black and white journal with you guys. That was great. So I hope you have an awesome day and we will chat again soon. Bye bye now.